When did the Model A get the name Model A? The first car sold by the Ford Motor Company in 1903 was given the designation Model A. This was a common practice amongst manufacturers of all types of products at the time. Each subsequent model produced by Ford was given a letter model name to separate it from other Ford offerings, but not all letters were used. There was the before mentioned Model A, the Model B, the Model C, the Model F, the Model K, the Model N, the Model R, the Model S. And then, in the late summer of 1908, the Model T went into production. We know now that the Model T's success lasted 19 years and nearly 15 million examples were assembled. After all of that success, Ford was starting to lose market share by refusing to replace the Model T. When Henry first launched the T, it was one of the only vehicles designed for the low price field. But by 1927, there were dozens of other low priced makes out there competing for market share and Ford was losing ground by refusing to introduce a new car. Ford had been trying in vain to design a new model as early as 1920. However, he was fixated on perfecting a new engine and then designing a car around that. He became obsessed with the idea of an X8 style engine. That is, an eight cylinder engine with two banks of four cylinders arranged in an X mounted front to back of each other. Each X would have two cylinders at the top and two at the bottom. This was similar to aircraft engines of the time. However, it was greatly flawed when applied to automotive use and Ford eventually abandoned the idea of 1926. This paved the way for Henry Ford to finally decide to produce a totally new car. In May of 1927, Ford announced that the Model T would cease production and a new model would be released soon. Soon turned out to be six months later. Following Ford's naming convention, the next model should have been called something like the Model U or the Model V or any of the other letters up until Z. But early on in its design process, Ford settled on calling it the Model A. We know this because of parts numbers shown on engineering drawings released in the pre-production development of the Model A. The parts numbers written on the drawing started with the A prefix. This indicated early on that even before production, the car was to be known as the Model A. Some early drawings had TX prefixes, the X indicating it was an experimental part for the Model T. So if early on Ford knew that it was going to be called the Model A, when did the public know it was called the Model A? Early newspaper accounts leading up to the announcement of the Model A simply referred to the car as the new Ford or the Model T's replacement. The earliest known media report calling it the Model A comes from Ray Priest and his September 25, 1927 syndicated automotive column, 66 days before the new model premiered. The article discussed the current state of the automobile industry and included, quote, Ford officials are still unable to set a date on which they expect to produce the first Model A Ford. By December 1, 1927, Newspapers around the country were referring to the car as the Model A. For some reason, Ford seemed to alternate between using the new Ford and Model A in their advertising and own literature. From the very beginning of production, Ford used the term Model A in their instruction manuals and parts books. However, the print ads for the Model A only used the term the new Ford. Advertising brochures from the dealer also referred to it as the new Ford and omitted any reference to the term Model A. The decision to start the alphabet over again and call it the Model A is attributed to Henry Ford, who felt that the new car was a rebirth of sorts for Ford Motor Company and that it was only fitting to call it the Model A. And like so much of Ford history, Henry was right.